Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If you have not hit that subscribe button, I appreciate it if you would do it so now. Uh, and uh, share the videos, uh, tap like, and leave a comment. Uh, be great help to me. Thank you very much. Uh, today, we're just going to make something pretty quickly. Uh, so we'll just dive right in. First thing I'm going to do is go to my curves menu, select a line, I change it to yellow, make sure my grid snaps are on. And I want it about 10 millimeters in width. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'll just grab me a line going across there. I'll take that line, go to my transform, hit mirror, parametric, uh, X, Y direction, and hit enter. Okay, from here, what I'm going to do is go back to my curves menu, uh, blend, blend parametric, this curve, this curve, and I'll need to switch both those directions. So click there and there, flip first curve, flip second curve, and I am going to uh, just drag that down and drag this one down. Okay, so it's still going to the center. I'm gonna take this uh, blend uh, handle here. I'm gonna take it out to maybe a 1.4. I'm gonna drag this one over to a 1.4 as well. So now I have it right through the center again, and I'll hit uh, enter. And I'll take that little piece there and just delete it. I don't need it anymore. We'll go to our tools, uh, go to our ring rail, uh, and I'll go ahead and hit enter. And we'll go back to our curves menu and do a uh, curve from two views. This will be our first curve. Uh, this will be our second curve, and we have that, right? And I'll hit enter. Uh, now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that top curve by holding down shift control and go to my uh, tools and slap a profile on there. And right away, uh, I'll just go ahead from auto to frontal and uh, we'll do a little manipulation here. We'll take this down to maybe around, uh, a, a, uh, we'll just do a one and we'll just do grab that top rail there and drag it down to a one two all right and then from here what i'll do is i'll go ahead and turn on mirror profile over here in my dynamic commands so it just mirrors it over to the other side and i will go to my all viewports and i will hold down shift and try to get one i'm looking at my top view so the dots right in the center right uh so i'll just click there go back to my profile uh manager and grab me a different profile for the center piece here. And we'll grab this one here, hit select and close that out. And now we'll go in here and do a little manipulation to this. I'll drag this over, I don't know, uh, uh, around 1.8 maybe. Uh, and let's see, yeah, that's probably okay. And we'll take it up to maybe a 1.5, something like that. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, so and I'll just go ahead and activate auto sweep so I can look at it uh, as we're doing it, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, 1.5, that should be okay. We'll take a little bit more, something like that. And we'll just go ahead and hit enter, right? And I'll take that, and since we have the new command in uh, 3.4, uh, 3 uh, cap it, and I'll cap it and hit enter. And then I'll take that and switch to this color here. And we will do uh, back to our curves, uh, extract ISO curve, and we'll go ahead and slap that in our center and hit enter. And we'll go to our gems, gems on curve, and we will select this curve and hit enter. And it'll slap some gems out there, and we'll just kind of drag them around for right now. And we will go to our dynamic commands target object will be this one here and our end here we'll go ahead and make them as small as possible kind of drag them around to where we want them and i am going to go over here my uh, dynamic commands and taper middle and click that on all right and actually that looks pretty good except these are down a little too far so let's drag these up a little and let's drag these in a little something like that yeah that looks pretty good maybe yeah this might have to come in a little let's make that a little bit smaller something like that perhaps and we'll just go ahead and hit enter well 
I forgot. We want to go ahead and drop them down from our girdle to our table. And we'll hit enter now. Okay. So I'll select those. We'll go to our cutters, go to our channel cutter. And that channel is kind of, I don't know. We'll see what it looks like once we get it all laid out. Maybe we'll have to do it ourselves and redo it a little. Uh, so let's go ahead and manipulate this a little bit. Uh, we want to drag this open a little bit. And I changed my uh, default to the one that I like. So to change to default, all you have to do is go ahead, after you get your profile on there, you can just go ahead and click the three dots and then uh, save as default. So each time, if there's one you like, you don't have to keep going back and picking it so that's what i did that's why you don't see the normal one out there uh and let's see what we got here uh yeah okay maybe a little bit more here that looks okay let's bring this in just a little and let's go to our end here take a look kind of goes yeah, it's okay. Let's see what this looks like. We might have to end up drawing it out. Uh, so doing it the old fashioned way. Uh, so let's go to our solids. Let's do this cut here and see what it looks like. Hit enter, enter. That's really not too bad. Yeah, okay. Well, not that bad. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll say that's what we want. That one looks like it's a little off. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Let's suck our stones again and maybe do a little bit more manipulate. Let's bring this one back a little so that our center stones goes more in the center there. Yeah, there we go. We'll see it. Take that. All right. Uh, and now what we'll do is so we'll go ahead and select our stones, go to our settings and put our prongs on there. And the first thing we want to do, of course, is to drag those up. All right and maybe nudge them out just a pinch and make them a little bit smaller and nudge them out just a little bit more something like that and our end ones uh, will go here and we'll select this and we'll just change it to one one so we only want one prong uh, on the end there and probably should have drawn drew that cutter out a little bit more and we'll just we'll just, just for the sake of the video we'll just keep going uh i probably want to want that cut a little bit deeper out there so we'll just say that this is good though and we'll go ahead and hit enter now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh go to our solids boolean union uh this here enter this these prongs enter and enter now we might have uh, we, looks like we're okay and now from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this since it's all one piece and i am going well before i do that let's go ahead and transform let's go to polar array select that select our gemstones and we'll just go ahead and tap enter now we have our polar array out there which is kind of hmm, okay uh, and we'll take our count and just kind of move them up into however we want them so we have something like this going on right and there you go. Oh, let's hit enter. <laughs> now we have a nice little band going around. That's uh, pretty cool. Very quick, right? And nice thing about this is, is uh, I think it should be all parametric. So if we go back to our ring rail and we edit our ring rail to a size 10, and updates we'll just have to after we accept it you know it's it's larger so it move those further apart is go back and do a little more edit with our count maybe add an extra row or two in there or something uh to to close those uh gaps up a little maybe that's too many but there you go uh very easy to do you can keep playing around with that as much as you want to and then you can just go ahead and do your cutouts uh, for the gemstones and you are good to go. We'll just say this is what we want. And there you go. It's a pretty cool uh, way to make a band uh, very quickly and a very stylish band at that. Uh, and uh, should be able to be uh, worn nice and comfortably for the lady or men or whoever wants to wear it. Uh, so let's go ahead and hide uh, 
we'll go to our yeah and then we'll turn off this turn off this and then there you go so hopefully this helps you and if it did please leave a like subscribe and a comment below there are so many possibilities with this here uh, so thanks for watching and good designing